It is great to see you here. It's great to hear from you and, and a pleasure to sit at this table with you. Thanks, Larry. Thank you. From its humble beginnings, Google has grown by leaps and bounds and is now the world's most recognizable search engine. Everyone in the world has heard of it and has used it at least once in their life. Larry Page, one of the founders of Google, has a net worth of more than $92 billion and is one of the richest people on Earth. It sure is good to be a billionaire like Larry Page. From his mega yacht to his eco-friendly home, he has some of the best things in life. In this video, we're going to talk about how he makes his money, his lifestyle, and how he spends his billions. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Before we talk about his millions, his spending habits, and the things he spends his money on, let's talk about how he made his millions first. Larry Page grew up in a household with plenty of computers, many decades before they became commonplace. Born in 1973, his parents were among the earliest people to work with computers. Both eventually became professors at Michigan State University. From a young age, he became obsessed with computers, and just like his father, his studies centered around them. He majored in computer engineering at the University of Michigan, and he completed his master's degree at Stanford University. Stanford is where the first seeds of Google were planted. When he needed a theme for his dissertation, he decided to focus on the internet, most especially on how web links work and function together. He ended up partnering with a grad student in his classes, Sergey Brin. Their research project came to be known as Backrub. In 1998, the duo officially incorporated Google Incorporated, and over the next few years, the company grew rapidly and went on to become one of the biggest successes of the dot-com era. The rest, as they say, is history. Page was the first CEO of Google. He assumed the role through 2001, but in order to assuage the fears of investors, putting in tens of millions of dollars into the company, he stepped down and became president of products. He was replaced by then-chairman Eric Schmidt, who had vast experience in the role of CEO. Even though he was no longer the company's CEO, he had a great deal of input in how the company handled operations, being one of its original founders. How much money does he make? Page is now one of the richest men in the world, and like many CEOs of tech companies, he doesn't make money from his actual salary. As as a matter of fact, his salary in Google is only a measly $1. Of course, you can only accept such a salary if your company is one of the most successful and one of the biggest in the world. He still owns tens of millions of shares from Alphabet, Google's parent company. But what about his personal life? He has been married to a biomedical informatics research scientist, Lucinda Southworth, since 2007. They got married on Richard Branson's private island. They flew 600 people to the island, including Donald Trump and Oprah Winfrey. The couple have two children together. Now that we know how he made his money, let's take a look at how he spends his money. He signed his first huge check in 2005 when he purchased a 9,000 square foot house in Palo Alto, California. The house was of the Spanish colonial revival style and had been listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The house had been on the market for years and originally had an asking price of $7.95 million. It was designed by Pedro Joseph de Lemos, the former curator of the Stanford Art Museum and the founder of the Carmel Art Institute. A few years after acquiring his first big property, Page started purchasing and tearing down properties that were adjacent to it so that he could make room for a large eco house. He has a 6,000 square foot Greenpoint certified house that was constructed with organic architecture, building materials. It also features low volatile organic compound paint. There are a few other green amenities at home, such as zinc clad exteriors that come with plenty of windows, a roof garden with solar panels, permeable paving in the parking court, as well as a path to the trees that requires less water for maintenance. For someone very wealthy, his car collection is on the conservative side. You'd naturally expect someone like Larry Page to drive down and own some of the most expensive cars on the planet. However, that's not the case. Instead of the typical sports car or enormous SUVs, his garage is filled with futuristic vehicles. His daily ride is his trusted Toyota Prius. Just like his good friend and partner Sergey Brin, the Prius is the world's first mainstream hybrid vehicle and it was first introduced in 2000. This only means that he has been using it for more than a decade. He also has the Tesla Roadster tucked in his garage. The all-electric sports car happens to be his favorite. Some people may not know it, but Page invested in the company when it was still finding its roots. Aside from his modest car collection, he also owns a Zero X. The electric vehicle from Zero Motorcycles cost approximately $7,500. It can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour and can hit 30 miles per hour in as little as 30 seconds. The sweetest thing about it is that it only takes two hours to fully charge. Paige has three of these babies. What's the point of being a billionaire if you can't have a yacht, right? Another significant property in his portfolio is the 193-foot super yacht named Senses. He paid $45 million to acquire it from a New Zealand businessman. Wondering why the price is so high? Well, the yacht was created to explore the world's oceans in utmost comfort, with interiors designed 
by Felipe Stark. The yacht is powered by two Deutsche Marine engines. It is large enough to accommodate 12 guests and a crew of 14. It can reach a top speed of 15 knots and has a range of 6,000 nautical miles. It has a private beach club with a jacuzzi and sunbeds, a helipad, indoor and outdoor dining areas, luxury suites, and a gym. Aside from splurging on money on expensive toys and the top-of-the-line eco-friendly homes, he also doles out money to charities all over the world. If you have more money than you can spend, might as well use it to help the less fortunate, right? In 2013, Page revealed that both his left and right vocal cords were paralyzed and the doctors failed to identify the reason. He said that due to this unfortunate event, donated a good chunk of his money, later revealed to be 20 million by anonymous sources, to the Voice Health Institute in Boston. In the same year, he also gave 15 million to the effort against the Ebola virus epidemic in West Africa. Page disclosed that over the last 15 years, he has given over $2 billion in donations to his foundation, the Carl Victor Page Memorial Foundation. However, there was some controversy when it was revealed that the money donated has not gone to nonprofits, but to DAFs or donor advised funds. He has also spread out his wealth into investments. Like so many before him who had billions, Page spread some of his wealth into investments. Although it doesn't bring him as much money as Google, it makes him a part of a few interesting companies. The most notable company he has invested in is that of his friend Elon Musk. Tesla. He invested $40 million into the auto company in the mid-2000s. Back then, only a few people knew Elon Musk. Cars seemed to be a passion of Page's, and it is one of the things he looks forward to investing in. He has specifically developed an interest in flying cars. Although we don't see them in the skies yet, there's a big chance that they will be realized soon. This is why he has invested in Kitty Hawk, and he backed Opener, another startup company. The former builds electric flight transportation solutions, while the latter deals with affordable and easy-to-operate vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. He didn't just purchase a jet, he also has his own airport. He and partner Sergey Brin own not just one, but two private jets that are stationed at their very own airport. The jets are owned under the aviation company Beam Aviation. The Google founders reportedly use an estimated 82 million million to set up their own air travel system. It includes eight private jets, a former NASA space that has been turned into their hangar and an airport. The duo bought their very first plane, a Boeing 767-200 from Contast Airlines for $15 million in 2005. They spent an extra $10 million to convert it from a passenger airplane to a private jet. They added a Dornier Alpha Fighter jet to their long list of expensive things. This jet is an advanced trainer jet that was built in France and Germany in 1982. With billions to spare, he also takes lavish vacations. All work and no no play makes Larry Page a dull boy. So he spends his money on lavish vacations too. He and Sergey Brin host an exclusive yearly Google camp in Sicily at a place called Verdura Resort. They don't just send invites to your average Joe. Only elite celebrities are asked to join them. How much does it cost to stay at the resort? For Page and Brin, it's a measly $2,000 per night for a 1,600 square foot villa. The resort boasts two golf courses, a private coastline, a two, and a 200 foot infinity pool. Page also likes to vacation in Fiji, where he can practice his kite reporting skills during his spare time. Which of Larry Page's possessions would you like to have the most? Let us know in the comment section. We'll see you in the next video.